Okay, so last place we left off was we built a uh, HTML page with an external style sheet, and we built a um, testing environment using Dreamweaver, where we put our uh, CSS style sheet uh, and our HTML page. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to set a uh, background image, and we're going to set some properties for that background image so that it's in a fixed position. Um, one of the cool effects about uh, setting a background image in a fixed position is that while the rest of your um, uh, template, uh, while, while somebody is, let's say, scrolling down your page, uh, viewing you know all the content on your page, the background image won't scroll with the person's um, uh, browser. What it'll do is it'll just stay in a fixed position and uh, allow the person to scroll through the content. It, it adds a really cool effect. Um, so let's go ahead and do that here. So let's. Uh, First, let's uh, go ahead and upload this uh, testing environment to a server. Um, what we're going to do is use uh, FileZilla. It's a FTP program called the File Transfer Protocol. And if you don't have an FTP account um, or you don't have FileZilla, I'll go ahead and um, add a link at the bottom of this video for FileZilla. It's a free program you can download and you can um, uh, basically get your FTP login information from your web host. Uh, you'll need a server name. Uh, typically it's your domain name. So in this uh, case I'm using a website called fixcss.com. That's one of the uh, domains I own. And uh, that's that would be typically your name your name um, your uh, name server would be fixcss.com and uh, the username um, and password you'll need to get that from your web host. So I'm gonna create a subdirectory so I can put this testing environment in. I'm uploading the files right now. And uh, this on my left hand side is my uh, local uh, folders on my computer. And this on the right hand side is the server. So what I did was I just highlighted all of the files and folders and right clicked and clicked upload. Now you can see from the file path that it's in. Um, you can ignore these folders. These, this is the absolute path on the server. But um, it's in the subdirectory test. So now I already have it open right here. But as you can see from the... Uh, uh, the URL here, it's fixcss.com forward slash test forward slash index.html. That's what we just worked on. So let's go ahead and set a background image. Right now we have a background color. I'm going to erase this, the colon, and a URL. There's a couple different options here. You can use a relative path or an absolute path. Typically I use absolute paths because, um, let's say, you're using a WordPress CMS, or you have a two level. You have a, a, your URL is a two directories deep, uh, meaning like let's say you have fixcss.com as your domain, and your web page is fixcss.com forward slash directory forward slash test.html. Um, because of that two directories deep, um, if you're using relative paths. Um, you're going to need, it, it just it, it complicates it a little bit more as far as how to use the relative path. So let's just use absolute paths for this. So I'm going to uh, basically reference the absolute path of uh, an image that I want to use for a background image. Okay. And uh, now I want to set it to not repeat, um, so that typically it would uh, repeat either uh, on the x-axis or the y-axis. So I'm going to set it to no repeat, and I'm going to set the position to fixed, and I want it to stretch 100% across the screen. Um, basically, I'm setting it to 100% because of um, if I don't set it to 100%, let's I'll show you what that what that would look like. So you can just see. Okay. Open the CSS folder. Now upload the new style sheet. And now I've already uploaded my background image. Uh, this is it, BG. That's what I'm referencing. Uh, I've already uploaded that to the server. Uh, to the server, and that's what I'm referencing uh, right here. So let's go right here. And as you can see, here's the uh, background image. It's huge. Um, so we're only actually seeing a, p a little part of this background image. I believe this background image is um, 2,000 pixels, which is uh, there's 100 pixels in an inch. So 
it's about 20 inches wide and I think about 1500 pixels high so it's about 20 inches wide by 15 pixels now the screen I'm looking on right now is only about um, 15 inch 16 inches um, uh, wide uh, so that's why we're not able to see the full background image so what I'm going to do is and I always do this for background images is I'm going to set the uh, width to 100% so that way, um, because there's always going to be a different screen size, um, people who access your website will access it on a 16, 17, 18 inch, 22 inch. Um, so you want to uh, try to stretch it 100% no matter uh, the screen size. So let's go ahead and upload the style sheet with that new change. And now, as you can see, the uh, this is the full image. It's stretched across the screen 100%. Um, and uh, whether I'm looking at it on a really large screen or a smaller screen like this 16-inch, uh, um, this is what you'll see. Now, um, it's in a fixed position. You're not able to see that because there's not enough content on this page up here uh, to scroll. So let's go ahead and uh, add enough content. Um, I'll just go ahead and... I'm just gonna. What I'm doing is just gonna add a uh, copy and paste and filler content just for the purposes of this tutorial. Let's say um, CSS. I'm just looking for a bunch of uh, content I can copy and paste quickly. Okay, this should do. So what I'm going to do is just copy all of this over to my web page. Just uh, pressing what I'm doing right now. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is um, I'm actually just using keyboard shortcuts. Wow, that's a lot of content. Okay, so what I was doing. Okay, this is going to look kind of messy because it carried it carried over all the, uh, the formatting, but. What I was doing just now was I was using keyboard shortcuts. So when I copy something, this is just you know uh, quick. Uh, when you highlight something, you can press. If you're using Windows, you can press Control C, which will copy it, and then to paste it, uh, I just press Control V. And that's what I've uh, that's what I've done here. So that's a little bit too much content. So let's let's ignore that. What I will do is I'm just going to copy and paste uh, this over a few times. What I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to get the enough uh, vertical uh, height uh, to the page so that we can scroll down so that you can see the uh, fixed page position effect. Okay. I'm going to save this index.html. Just click the refresh button so that we can uh, take a look at the uh, the content I just added. I apologize for running kind of slow. Let's see, here we are. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, here's the content uh, right here. Um, it's in white, and as I scroll, you'll notice the, uh, well, I don't know if it's showing up in the screen, but my vertical sidebar over here is allowing me to scroll, or I can just scroll with my mouse. But um, as you can see, the content's moving, and the background image is uh, stationary. So that is basically, that wraps up this tutorial. It's, uh, that's basically using the CSS uh, style sheet to uh, put a fixed uh, background image on your web page.